It's a Hollywood film set in an Asian utopia, but it was Kiwis who brought it to life. Ghost in the Shell is an anime classic crafted for the big screen by Wellington's best movie makers. US correspondent Rebecca Wright was at its red carpet premiere. Meet the Major, a human soul placed in a cyborg body played by Scarlett Johansson in a futuristic nude silicone suit. I was actually surprised when I put it on that it was, I think because uh, Weta had been working so tirelessly to perfect it before I got there, they were all totally freaked out, so like I couldn't also be freaked out, you know what I mean? Um, and then when I put it on, I was like, wait, you guys, like, it, it's good, it's working. And it saw plenty of action on Scarlett Johansson's character, a kick-ass military cyborg in this reimagining of the Japanese anime classic. Weta Workshop worked alongside director Rupert Sanders to bring the incredible future tech world of Ghost in the Shell to life. It's very important to the film for me to build it practically and they did an amazing job of bringing some of those ideas and concepts to life, literally. You know, there's a lot of animatronics, a lot of prosthetics. Including the opening shelling sequence in which a human brain is transplanted into the state-of-the-art cyborg shell. We did crazy things like we printed a skeleton uh, at one-to-one -one scale of Scarlet playing the major, 3D printed the entire body, which was the first for us uh, at Weta Workshop, using some pretty crazy materials, titanium. And it's set in a futuristic Asian megacity, which was largely created on sound stages in Wellington, but the city gets a cameo too in the form of a fierce battle shot on location in Victoria Street. And action! The cast and crew spent 75 days filming in Wellington, adding $85 million to the local economy. And crucially, The Ghost in the Shell was a chance to put the talents of the best and the brightest of our film industry on display to the sci-fi world. Rebecca Wright, One News, New York.